There are things you will learn when your father leaves. One, you will push your feet against the asphalt. Nigerian poet and performer Wana Udobong is tackling sexual and gender-based violence through an art installation tagged Dirty Laundry. The performer, also known as Wana Wana, says her first mixed media installation is one that explores issues of womanhood, feminine agency, healing and imagination. A lot of my poetry has always been what I like to call somewhat confessional, um, but always really documenting the stories of women, the histories of women, and the sort of the experiences and complexities of what it means to be a Nigerian woman. And so I think for me, the idea was to have these poems, which are about all of these interesting things that are happening to us on a daily basis, whether it's um, you know sexual violence, whether it is um, intimate partner violence, whether it's also just the very insidious ways that societies are often suppressing women's voices and saying you know whatever thing or whatever shame that you have on us we're going to put that out in public right so this idea that you can't shame the shameless so if I put out my story by myself you can't tell me anything and so that's that's really what um, dirty laundry is about an immersive experience for the viewer connecting personal narratives histories experiences and imaginaries as a form of catharsis and poems screen printed on canvas hung from laundry lines a physical representation of the metaphor hanging your dirty laundry in public. See all of these things printed out. Everyone's, you know, linen is here. Your friend's linen is here. Your family's linen. Everyone's linen is literally here. And we're just saying that there's no shame in being open. There's no shame in like speaking up. You have to actually like say all of these things so that people who are, you know, your friends, your family, they're able to break that, you know, that sort of like, um, what would I call it now? That, you know, kernel of shame, you know, that sort of thing. So, really, that's my intention for this exercise. Exhibition and really also just to show you know a different way of presenting poetry. I wasn't quite sure what to expect when I was coming here because it said dirty laundry and I wasn't very certain but then coming here and seeing the work, listening to the audio, seeing the visuals, I get it. Um, it says in the opening um, how we're told to you know to keep certain things to ourselves because you can't put out your business in public but I feel she has encapsulated the feeling of going through stuff and then living free. And once you listen to the work and see the visuals, it makes sense as to you know how you can take what's happened to you, take your pain, take whatever it is, and then make it into your process and your glory. And she's done a fantastic job at capturing that. The traveling exhibition, supported by Ford Foundation, will take place in three cities across Nigeria and will be accompanied by talks, presentations and online discussions on the role of art in social justice movements or activism that seeks to create change. Sheton Atigare, Arise News, Lagos.